Hi everybody, I'm Torge Petersen, Software PE at Danfoss Power Solutions. And in this video, I show how an existing application can be transferred from one display to another. Whether it is about exchanging an old display for a new one or equipping a new machine, where it is about taking over the existing display applications and representations, such as text and images. There are many potential issues, especially when migrating an application to a different size display when the aspect uh, ratio is not the same. In this video, I show some of these problems and how you can work around them if necessary. In my example, it is an application on a DP720 display that is to be used one-to-one -one on a DM1000 display. All screen elements within the DP720 applications, such as text, components, and images should be displayed unchanged and in the best possible way on the new display DM1000. The functions, for example, the menu navigation, the selection of the operating inputs and so on are of secondary importance here. Also that the DP720 is a display with buttons and the selected DM1000 is a touch display only. This video is about the best possible migration of the display elements to another display, which brings us to the main point, the size of the display the aspect ratio and the associated display resolution. The image size or screen res resolution is given in pixels with um, the dimensions width and height. DP720 has a size 800 and 480 pixels. The DM1000 has a size 1280 and 800 pixels. In order not to go too deep into the different types of display sizes and resolutions, it can be summarized here that the more pixels, so the, um, the higher the resolution, the more details can be seen on the display or the more space for displaying objects. However, this also has the consequence that one and the same image is displayed differently, well or bad, depending on the display used. The reason for this is the scaling of this text or graphic to the new display resolution to be used. In order to have as few losses as possible with the scaling, an appropriate format should be selected when programming in the vector-based screen editor, the use of SVG or PNG format is recommended. Both SVG and PNG graphics can be scaled to any size without loss. Let's take a look to my DP720 example project, which I want to transfer one-to-one -to, -one to a DM1000 display. This example application has been shared already by our update center for the video number 55 state machine. Before I create a new DM1000 project, with this existing screen definitions, preparations must uh, first be made in the original application before they got exported. A number of setting options are available in the inspector, such as the scale size and scale position properties. Here's the description from the manual for screen definitions. If scale size is true and the size of the display changes or the screen definition is imported to a project with a display of different size, the width and height of the screen definition will automatically be scaled. And this is exactly what I want. This setting is necessary for each screen and each object. In addition, this parameter property is also used for components like uh, text and images and uh, is specified as if true, the size of the screen object will be resized proportionally when the size of the screen definition changes compared to its design time size. Property keep aspect will not be taken into consideration when scale size is true. What does it mean for my sample program and the migration to a DM1000 display? All scaling parameters within my display application in my screen definitions, objects, texts, and images must be set to true before they get exported. Starting with my first screen definition in it with only one image component, select the screen definition in the screen manager and set the properties scale size and scale position to true in the top level property group in the inspector. Then select the image component and set scale size and scale position to true in the layout property group and the manual layout subgroup. This is now repeated for each screen definition and for each of the text and image components inserted or to be displayed. 
The following screen definition main shows how this can be implemented easily and quickly with a relatively yeah, large number of components. Right click on the screen definition and select sort by type. Select all components with the same type and set their properties consistently. This kind of preparation and property setting has no impact on the current or original display program like in my case the DP720 project. The property keep aspect will not be taken into consideration when scale size is true. Please keep that in mind if you are going to modify your original or new application afterwards. Now that all the necessary settings for automatic setting or scaling have been made, the screen definitions can be exported. In the last step, I create the new display program on the DM1000 with the same display representations as in the original. For this, I copied the graphical guide code from the DP720 project into the DM1000 template. Within the screen editor, I import the previously exported screen definitions where the auto scaling parameters are set respectively. In this way, the screens with the respective displays such as text and images can be easily imported and automatically scaled to the new screen resolution without any further settings. A small note on this is perhaps incorrect rounding due to the text size scaling, which is in my case 1.6 for the DM1000 resolution uh, because of this uh, resolution 1280 and 800. A text size of 14 results in a new scale size of 22.4 due to the factor 1.6. Since it has been rounded to 23, makes the text too wide when the text box and image are extended. If it would have been rounded down to 22, it would have been okay. So this will be fixed in one of the next uh, releases, but please check all text and images inside your screen editor after this display migration. Of course, my DP720 display application example does not fit 100% to my new selected DM1000 display since it is a touch uh, panel only. So some <clears throat> additional changes need to be done, but my main task was to show how to use existing screen development, not start from um, scratch again to build up my screen uh, look and feel. These um, yeah, preparatory tasks like choosing the correct image format, which are without loss during scaling, set the property parameter scale size and scale position on true, and export these prepared screen definitions will easily help to start the display development from a certain point and scales the display objects automatically depending on the aspect um, ratio of the selected display. We hope that you found this tutorial useful. Remember that Plus One Community Help is available on the Plus One User Forum. Check out other videos on our YouTube channel or contact the Plus One Help Desk. Thank you for your attention.